This is Dr. Van Rieken at Reno Sparks Med Spa, and I'm about to do some PRP injections, that stands for platelet-rich plasma, of uh, both knees in uh, Lady Deborah, who has uh, some pain. She's been told she has bone-on-bone -bone arthritis here, and you've had surgeries here before yes. as well, like meniscus and so forth. Yes. All right, and how about this knee? This hurts you as well? Um, this one is uh, torn meniscus right now, so. All right, so she's had issues, and you recently traveled overseas and you got steroid shots prior to traveling overseas yes. so that you could sort of function and get by. Is that correct? Yes. But of course, you know, you can gain weight with steroid shots. If you're diabetic, your sugar goes higher. Uh, there are some risks of your blood pressure going up, uh, a little bit of temporary risk, uh, increase in blood clots and increase in infection temporarily and so forth with steroid shots. So because of these, uh, they're not a great uh, choice for ongoing care. Um, and they work well, but they work for usually a month or so. Uh, PRP injections don't always work. They work, in my experience, 80 or 90 percent of the time, but when they work, they work for many months or years. Uh, some people do dramatically well with one shot. Some people need three or four. It's individual. So we're going to see you're a virgin. You've never had a PRP shot, right? No. Nope. All right, so let's clean the virgin here and, and do our thing. Oh, dear. Um, so I've marked with ink this knee a little bit. And that's the top of the patella or kneecap. That's the lateral edge of the patella right about there. So the needle will go about here. She had some other things done a while back. That's not from something we've done here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead about in here. So I'm going to clean this area. And then I'm going to um, go ahead and inject. And if I push, I can feel myself kind of hitting the patella, so I've got to be a little deeper. And uh, so I'll numb it up first. So this is not the PRP, this is numbing stuff. This is lidocaine. And I can tell. You doing okay? Yes. Hurts a bit? <laughs> and I can tell that I'm in the joint now because I'm too far, I would be in the. I would be in the patella because you can see that this is far enough so it didn't hit the bone so I must be in the joint. So now we'll switch needles. This is a longer needle. This is, um, well it's not longer, it's just bigger. This is a one and a half inch 18. You often feel a pop when you get into the joint. I just felt a pop. So. I can tell I'm in the joint. And now I'm holding the needle so it doesn't move around while I switch to the PRP. It looks like blood. It does have red blood cells in it, but it's thinner than blood. It's got mostly plasma. Are you doing okay? Yes. And it's going in pretty easy. You can see how fast it's going in. So I can tell it's in the right place. If it were in a muscle, it wouldn't be going in this fast. And then I'll pull this out slowly. She may bleed a little bit there. That's normal. And that is the procedure on her right knee. So how much did that hurt? If 10 is horrible and 0 is none, be honest. Uh, probably, I guess, about a 3 or 4. Probably went to a 3 or 4? Mostly pressure. Yeah. Did it make you nervous? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. How, you know, you had a steroid shot given by somebody else in the knee a while back. Did this hurt more or less or about the same? About the same. same, about, about, same. about the same amount of pressure. And now how does your knee feel right now compared to before? Any different? Um, just a little bit of pressure. I think it'll be fine once I get up. Kind about of, the same as steroid. Kind of poofy because yeah, yeah. I just put 11 cc's of volume into it. So it's going to feel, when you walk, it's going to feel like you're on a little bit of a mattress for a little yes. bit, just for a day or so. Okay. Oh, um, just one more thing. Um, I was told they don't like doing steroid shots on knees that have got cartilage because it does also destroy the cartilage, I was told. Well, that's absolutely right. It can reduce cartilage. And one of the things about PRP is that PRP does help cartilage to heal. I'm not telling you that if you're bone on bone, you're going to have a normal knee after a few shots. That would, I mean... That would be great if that were the case, but there tends to be more cartilage formed, less uh, problems with uh, the joint, and a lot less pain. Exactly why it's so good at pain, we don't know. Uh, so, 
Now we'll quickly do the other side and then we'll be done. Time for the other knee here. So I've marked this, I put uh, cleaned it already, and we'll go ahead and uh, stick a needle in here and see if we can make her a little bit more comfortable with the lidocaine. Now I think there I'm on the patella, so I gotta be a little deeper. That's why I use a small needle first. And I like to keep my position so I'm not moving my hand. And we are getting fluid out. You can see that that fluid has a little bit of blood tinge to it. It looks straw colored. And there's a fair amount of fluid in her knee. Remember, I only put a couple of cc's of anesthetic in. We're getting a lot more than that. We got 24 cc's of fluid out, and we're putting in 11. And we can tell we're in the right place because we just got the fluid out of the knee. So this one's probably going to feel less pressure than the other one because there's actually less volume in there than there was when we started. Uh, it's already feeling a lot better. Already feeling better? Yeah. Now we're going to put a bandage on you, and we're going to have you walk around and see how it feels. So we've already done the bilateral knee platelet-rich plasma injections. We got 24 cc's of joint fluid out of her left knee. Now, Deborah, how do you feel? Go ahead and take a few steps. I already feel better. Are both sides better or just one side better? Especially this one. But okay. So they're both better, but especially the one we took all the joint fluid yeah. out of? Yeah. Okay. That's not unusual for people to get better quickly, but uh, it's a crapshoot. And some of the best results I've seen took three or four weeks to get better, but uh, still did great. But you're happy, huh? Yeah, yeah. Not happy we'll so far? It goes. Hi, this is Dr. Van Regan at Reno Sparks Med Spa. I'm here with Deborah. And about six weeks ago, we did a video with Deborah and we injected both knees with platelet rich plasma. Did uh, you get better right away? The first few days, it was pretty sore. It, it really was. It was sore. But I noticed after that initial soreness went away, um, it just seemed like it was helping a whole lot after that. So it took a little bit, but now it's probably 50%. Better in each yeah. knee? Yeah. Now, what were you told previously by the orthopedic surgeon about your right knee? This one has no more... Cartilage. Cartilage, thank you. Cartilage in it. So, of course, it pains me a lot. And but it's still 50% better. Yeah, yeah. It definitely feels a lot better than it did. All right. And what were you told about the other knee? I'm supposed to be having surgery on it today because I've got two torn meniscus. And at first, before I had the injections, it was extremely painful, um, really. I mean, like, I couldn't wait to have the surgery. And now I'm able to put it off because it's about half better. Okay, and so we're going to inject you today, and maybe we can get it another half better or something like that. We'll see what we can do. I'd be happy at another order if it was 75% better, so that's awesome. All right. Awesome. Okay, thank you, Deborah. This is Dr. Thank Van Rieken for Reno Sparks Med Spa saying PRP works. I've had it myself. It works for me, it works for Deborah, and uh, dogs love it, kids love it too. <laughs> <laughs>